in this video, we are going to have a fraction. When we say a fraction, it represents a part of a whole. So, sa ating fraction, we also have parts. Ito yung tinatawag natin numerator, fraction bar, denominator, and as well, if meron tayong mixed number with, which is a kind of fraction, meron din tayong whole number. So, these are the examples of fraction. So, let's identify the parts of fraction in the example given below. So, when we say a numerator, ito yung nakikita natin above the fraction bar. So, before we identify the numerator, let's identify first the fraction bar. So, when we say a fraction bar, ito yung naghahati sa ating numerator and denominator. So, kung makikita natin sa mga example, ang ating fraction bar, uh, bar ay ito po. Ayan yung mga fraction bar na tinatawag natin. And then, sa fraction bar natin, meron tayong itaas and meron din tayong ibaba. So, ito yung tinatawag natin numerator. So, ibig sabihin, ang numerator natin ay nasa taas. And also, the denominator is nasa baba. Again, yung numerator natin ay nasa taas. Ito yung ating 1, 3, 6, and also 3. And then, the denominator naman is the 5, 2, 7, and 4. So, these are the examples of fraction and also the parts of fraction. Now, let's proceed with the kinds of fraction. So, meron tayong kinds or types of fraction. So, meron tayong proper fraction, mixed fraction or mixed number, and also improper fraction. So, let's define each types of fraction. So, first, the proper fraction. So, pag sinabi natin proper fraction, it is the digit in the numerator is smaller than the digit in the denominator. Again, sa proper fraction natin, ang ating digit sa numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, for example, sa ating proper fraction, meron tayong 3 fifths. So, kung makikita natin yung numerator, ang numerator natin ay 3. And ang denominator natin ay 5. If you are going to observe the example, yung numerator natin, ang digit niya ay 3, which is mas mababa sa ating 5 na denominator. So, again, ang proper fraction dapat mas mababa yung digit sa numerator kaysa sa denominator. Now, let's proceed with the second types of fraction. Improper fraction. So, kapag sinabi naman natin improper fraction, ito yung kabaliktaran ng proper fraction. So, the improper fraction is that yung digit niya sa ating numerator ay mas mataas sa digit sa denominator. Ibig sabihin, yung numerator natin dapat mas, uh, mas mataas yung digit niya sa denominator. So, let's have an example. 5 over 3 or 5 third. So, yung 5 over 3 natin, kung mapapansin natin, yung numerator, mas mataas yung 5 kaysa sa ating denominator na 3. So, this is what we call improper fraction. So, ibig sabihin, ang proper fraction, mas mababa yung numerator kaysa sa denominator. Ang improper, kabalik ta ng proper fraction, which is mas mataas ang numerator kaysa sa denominator. Now, let's have the third type of fraction, which is the mixed fraction or sometimes it is called mixed number. Bakit pa siya tinawag the mixed number? So, kaya siya tinawag na mixed number or mixed fraction dahil we have the whole number and also a fraction. So, ang mixed fraction natin, so, let's define. Mixed fraction, it consists of whole number and a proper fraction. Again, it consists of whole number and a proper fraction. Pag sinabi natin whole number, ito yung makikita natin on the left side of a proper fraction. And yung proper fraction natin dapat 
mas mababa sa at yung numerator natin sa ating denominator. So, that's why mixed fraction is consists of whole number and the proper fraction. So, now, we have discussed the types of fraction. So, to proceed in our next topic, let's identify first the types of fraction. Or anong types ng fraction ang meron tayo dito sa given fraction natin. So, number one, we have 3 over 5. So, since mas mababa yung numerator natin sa denominator, it is proper fraction. Next naman natin is 2 and 3 fifth. So, meron tayong whole number and the proper fraction, then it is mixed fraction. And yung third one naman natin is 5 over 3. So, if we identify the numerator, mas mataas yung numerator natin sa denominator, then it is improper fraction. And then, next naman natin is yung 8 over 7. So, yung 8 over 7 natin, mas mataas yung numerator sa denominator. Which is yung 8, mas mataas yung ating numerator. So, ibig sabihin, this one is improper fraction. Now, we have identified and learned about um, types of fraction. So, we will proceed in the um, transforming improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction. So, let's have that did you know the imp that improper fraction can be written as mixed number and mixed number can be written as improper fraction. So, let's see the example below. So, we have here 1 and 1 over 7 which is this is a type of fraction na mix number or mix fraction. So, we have a mix fraction. So, itong mix fraction natin, we can transform it into improper fraction. So, paano nga ba natin siya matatransform? So, let's have this one. We are going to multiply the denominator to a whole number. So, let's have this one muna. Multiplying the denominator to whole number. So, yung denominator natin is 7 and then the whole number is 1. So, we will multiply 7 times 1. It is equal to 7. So, after finding the product, we will add the numerator. So, yung product natin, i-add natin yung numerator. So, this is the product, 7, and then i-add natin yung numerator. So, the numerator is 1. So, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. So, pag in natin or nakuha na natin yung sagot, yung sagot natin dito na 8 ay magiging numerator sa improper fraction natin. So, let's have the um, fraction bar at yung sagot daw natin, yun yung magiging sagot sa numerator. So, we will put 8 above the fraction bar. And then, paano naman natin makukuha yung sagot sa denominator? So, makukuha natin yung sagot sa denominator doon sa ating mixed number. If i-observe natin yung mixed number, sabi dito, we are just copying the denominator in mixed number and put it in the denominator of your improper fraction. So, ibig sabihin kung ano yung denominator ng ating mixed number, siya ding denominator ng ating improper fraction. Therefore, yung ating denominator dito is 7. So, now, we have the improper fraction of 1 and 1 over 7, which is 8 over 7. So, therefore, the improper fraction of 1 and 1 over 7 is 8 over 7. So, next naman natin is 2 
transform a mixed or the improper fraction to mixed number. So, let's have this example. So, ito yung sagot natin kanina. 8 over 7. So, we are going to transform this one into mixed number naman. So, ibig sabihin, dapat ang magiging sagot natin ay may whole number and also a proper fraction. So, paano natin matatransform? So, let's have using the division. So, paano natin makukuha? So, use the division and then the quotient will be the whole number and the remainder will be the numerator. And then, yung denominator natin is the divisor. So, let's have, so, yung ating 8 will be the dividend. So, 8 will be the dividend. And then, yung 7 natin is the divisor. So, let's have the division. 8 divided by 7 is 1. And then, multiply it. So, 1 times 7 is 7. Then, subtract 1. So, since we cannot divide 1, to 1 by 7, this is our answer. So, again, yung ating quotient will be the whole number. And then, yung ating remainder will be the numerator. And then, the divisor will be the denominator. So, let's make it into a fraction or mixed number. So, yung ating whole number is 1. The numerator is 1. And then, the denominator is 7. Therefore, the mixed number of our 8 over 7 is 1 and 1 over 7. So, this is how are we going to change improper fraction to mixed number and also mixed number to improper fraction. Thank you for listening.